Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be showing you how to make a simple idle animation for Roblox in Blender. I'm Vox Diamond, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you liked the video or found it helpful but don't feel obliged and I'm going to show you now. So first of all what you're going to do is you're going to want to install the add-on which I'm going to leave in the description for Blender which is going to allow you to export the animation once you're done. And you're also going to want to install the rig, which is probably going to be a media file link in the description, which will allow you to actually animate it in Blender. So once you've done that, you're going to want to come to edit once you're in Blender, go to preferences, and then press install, press on the add-on which you installed, and press that, and then find the add-on in here, and make sure it's enabled. If it's not here at all, restart your computer, and then it should be there. If it's still not there, then I'm not sure you probably installed it wrong. But if it is here, just make sure it's ticked and then come out. Then what you want to gonna do is you want to come to file and then open. I'm gonna blur this out so you can't see all my files. I'm gonna come to the downloads, which is where you sh it should have been, and just select r6ik underscore one dot blend or r6ik underscore depending on what you named it whatever you named it just that will be the model that you downloaded from most likely a media file link in my description open that now it should look like this which is a roblox model which is textured if it's not textured and it's just gray you're going to come to shading you're going to select this and you're going to select material not material free material because that will make it look like this once you've done that and it looks like this I want to come to animation. Now, you should be able to select this, make sure that's there. You don't need that while you're creating the animation, but when you go to export it to Roblox, you're going to need this. So just make sure it's there while you're creating the animation. Now, once you've done that, you're going to come down here, get the start, and just type in zero. Because that means that your animation starts at the keyframe zero rather than keyframe one. Because otherwise, there'll just be one keyframe where your character just does nothing once the animation starts, which you don't want in a game, for instance. Now, once you've done that, you're going to want to come to the end and do about 120 to 240, depending on how long you want your animation to be. And then after that, the most important step before you actually create your animation is go to the top right here, press armature, object mode, and change it to pose mode. Now, once you've done that, press this and now you'll be able to go along here to edit the like movement of the dummy for each keyframe and if you want to let's say see the keyframes in seconds just hit Control t and it will show you in seconds up here but i like to keep it in keyframes unless i have to view it in seconds and if for an idle you don't need it in seconds so now we want to do is just want to create a simple idle stance. We're not going to animate it right now. We're just going to create the actual stance first, and then I'll show you how to animate it afterwards. Now you've created the basic stance by following what I've just done along or creating your own basic stance, we're going to animate it. To do that, what we're going to do, we're going to find the middle of your animation. So in this case, mine is 120 keyframes key long. So it will end up being 60 keyframes where we're going to edit it. What you want to do is you're going to want to edit the rotation of the torso to either further back or further forwards. I'm going to do further forwards because I prefer it. And if your leg bends like this, you're just going to get this bit and put it down like that. And I'm just going to check this. Doesn't look too bad. It's going to go down to here. I'm going to go like that. That's moved down, hasn't it? So we're going to get this top bit. I'm going to move that up a bit until it doesn't move that much. So bam, bam. That's still moving down. Pull that up a bit more. And now, as you can see, that's barely moving. Do the same for the other leg. Does that move a little bit? Just we'll move that down slightly. Still moving up, so down a bit more. Still moving up, down a little bit more. Down a bit more. And you just want to keep doing that until it's 
doesn't move up or down like this. It's fine if it moves forwards or back, you just don't want it moving up and down because it doesn't look right for an idle. And once you've got that, the animation will look like this and it'll just stay in that position. So you're going to come over to here and select the whole thing, copy pose. So you select all of it, then right click, press copy pose, then paste pose. And we're going to press the very top keyframe on summary and press shift D and then drag that all the way to the end of your animation. And then it should look like this. Now we're not done yet though. We're also going to animate the arms. So come to 60. We're going to do something like bringing it back to there. Like this. Let's just check they move about the same amount. Let me move this one a little bit more. And we're also going to make sure they line up properly with the shoulder or the torso. Uh, that is the wrong item, so like that. Let's bring that back a bit and then maybe up a bit. And then also do the same for this one. So bring it back a little bit and up a little bit. As you can see, the arms are now animated. Now what we're going to do is we are going to get the arms. So right and left arm. Take this and then also this and we're just going to select both keyframe the, the whole line every single keyframe for the left and upper left arm and right arm i'm just going to drag that to a quarter the first one to a quarter along the way your animation and now it will look a bit odd it will look like this all we have to do is go to the end here get this select all of it copy pose paste pose select to the very top one in summary shift d and then bring it all the way back like that and now it looks like this. Sorry, a little bit of lag there. But now it looks like this. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit choppy when it cuts, still the animation stops. What we're going to do is going to select all of the keyframes which are in this area. Because there might be one down here like that. We're just going to ignore that because that's not actually part of the animation. You can delete that if you want. It doesn't matter. And I change all of this to sin wide. Now it's going to look like this. Then you're going to do here easing mode ease in and out and now it looks like this still choppy on the arms but that's fine then i'm going to go here select these two or one we're going to start with one so these and make sure you're doing this for both the left and right arm if they're the ones you animated anything you've animated at the 30 and 90 marks you're going to have to do this for so let's change this to ease in and then which is the last one and change the first one to ease out and then it should look like this. Now, if this is still a little bit choppy, which you can see, you can also change this keyframe here to also ease in. And then it should look like this. Which is much better. And that is a very basic idle. And also, bear in mind, you won't actually see these in Roblox. So as long as it's the actual part isn't moving like that, it's fine. And that is a very basic idle animation. Now, once you've made the animation, which we have, all you want to do is you want to press export animation here, which will bake the animation. And then you're going to want to open Roblox. Now, once you're in Roblox, you either want to select the game which we're going to be using this animation for, or for me, I'm just going to get a new base plate. I'm going to go to here, press base plate. And then if you've already installed the plugin, which I linked in the description, then you're going to find it in your plugins bar. Otherwise, you're going to go to inventory, my plugins, and then select it in here. So it will be this and make sure that's installed. Then if you've got Moon Animator, I suggest using it because character insert is better, but you, the default character insert should work for Roblox. I'm going to use Moon Animator though. Just go to presets. And then get either template R6 or R6. It doesn't matter. They're both the same model. The only difference is textures. Once you've done this. Um, and you've baked your animation. You've still got that copied. You're going to press blend the animations into plugins. Press on the rig you've just imported. We're going to drag this up to here. So it's a bit easier to see. And also drag it out a bit. Now what you're going to do. You want to scroll down here. Or if it's already open. Just look at it. Make sure torso, head, left arm, right arm, left leg and right leg are all 
um, equipped because it all ticks and here because otherwise your animation will only load in the bits which are ticked and if it's one of those not ticked let's say you animate the heads and it's not ticked here when you use the animation it just won't animate the heads once you've done that if it's an idle which it is you're going to make sure animation loop is on and then we're going to import animation here and with that baked animation which we it exported from blender you're going to paste that here in that script it opens it's going to delete the script and load the animation as you can see it's loaded the animation on our dummy in roblox now to save this you're going to press export animation or upload animation to roblox and then call it whatever you want i'm just going to call this tutorial idle and then select you and or a group if you want if you're making the game for a group select it to be whoever is going to need to own the animation because let's say you're making a game for a group and you select it for you roblox will call it a sanitized id and not let it work in the group owned game which is really annoying once you've done that press save then you copy the asset id and also you guys will be able to use this animation i will just leave the id once you've done that what you can do is let's say in here you're just going to add a script to play the animation so we're going to do animator uh no sorry local animator equals script if if it's this script is in the rig dot parents dot humanoid dot animator and we're going to add an animation instance in the script paste the animation id into here which is the one you just made from the blender um add-on or plugin sorry for roblox and then you're going to do local anim equals script dot animation or whatever you call this animation instance i'm going to do anim or local anim track equals animator load animation anim and then to play the animation anim track play and then when you load into the game it should play the animation as you can see on that rig and that is it for this tutorial make sure to subscribe and leave a like if this tutorial was helpful but don't feel obliged i'm dark diamond and see ya